position and I probably won't be able to respond to all of the um, all of the comments and the interactions. So it's going to be um, a little bit different than the previous one. But this one is about the music and painting at the same time. And, uh, and this is a, a 16th in the series of 30 painting that are corresponding to the uh, 30 Goldberg variation by Bach, a piece that has been fascinating me and the musical world, and I think the general world for so many centuries. And so just now, a bit, maybe 15 minutes ago, I did a quick recording just on a phone. I believe in the spontaneity. So I'm going to be sharing with you just let me see if I can find it. Did I even start? Yeah, I, I stopped the recording now. Um, and I recorded just that piece, which now today's painting is going to be dedicated to. Uh, so let's see if I can find it now. Uh, variations is going to be registered. And so every so often, yeah, here it is. Don't know if you can hear. So let's start from the beginning. Um, how do I do this actually? Hi, Peter, welcome to <laughs> Seattle. Wonderful, and Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone. Okay, so I'm just slightly seeing things. Merry Christmas, everyone. Thanks for joining. So you hear this? So let's start with this. This is about the strength of the will to play. It's a bit Nietzschean in itself. So it's very decisive, very specific. Thunderstorm, so this could be a shorter stream than expected. recording that I just did. <laughs> That's what makes us human actually.
so what did I do here? I want to do also another version. Hold on a sec. Let's start. Let's just hear this one again because I did another recording of the of the, of the version of it. very much the agenda comments i just realized how am i going to check in comments i'm going to just check the comments every so often and then i'm, I'm going to stream musically the different version of this piece um let's go on to haps it's a bit different now i feel like it's um let's just see how it's going to be showing it can i join my own stream let's see this oh yeah i can perfect okay so let's see the comments just i need to turn off the sound now right mercedes and john hello welcome uh asbury thanks stay uh, um conscious quest thanks for the stay safe oh uh, definitely crime scene <laughs> crime scene you think this is a crime scene <laughs> beautiful brown exactly so we are getting actually so spread out not so much smartphone great to see you 
Oh, the great art and love for the sake of humanity. Absolutely. Positivism. All about positivism in 2021st. Uh, what did I get for Christmas? It wasn't Christmas yet. <laughs> I still didn't get it. My Christmas is on the 7th. <laughs> Multi. Oh, oh, what happened in here? Uh, okay. I don't know what's going on in here. I'm just getting... Hold on a second. Um, okay. As Feliz, hello, welcome. Uh, hello. Christmas was this. <laughs> um, and teacher did us. Okay. Inviting, yeah, well, definitely. Uh, I'm inviting people to join this app, multi streaming creation. It's a crime scene of the 16th variation by, Go by Goldberg. Nadine Labadins, thank you for joining from St. John's. Okay, so uh, what I'm doing in here now, um, I'm creating the, uh, this is a quite exciting actually that I'm able to read comments on both. Um, and I actually have a better idea as to what's going on with, with what. Okay, so let me now share with you another version because you were listening to my recording just a few moments ago. I was recording the piece this um the um the piece that you were just listening and which is now uh, visually represented as to how i think that my consciousness is perceiving it um and as uh, the conscious quest rightly perceives that there is a little bit of the earthly energy because it's about the fight between the mundane and the spiritual and i think that the core of the gobra variation is in between uh, those two op seemingly opposing elements but um, when we start reading all sorts of um, different ideas and even the quantum mechanics we realize that those things are may not be as different as we imagine but they certainly sometimes contradict each other so it's kind of a challenge living in this mortal body and that's what i'm trying to now get into and this particular one is about the strong decision making justifies itself and triumphs through the hard work so it's it's a little bit about the you might, a question maybe uh maybe a message not to be doing the hacks so now let me find out another version because i only did twice i don't like to do a recording of the piece more than twice i feel that if it's it can't be recorded within the time span of um, two times it means it isn't ready for the recording that's why all the practice and the work so let me try to find it uh, where can i find it now because i did it just on a regular recorder no fancy apps of any sorts um let's see where can i find it it didn't uh, it didn't recognize it seems i have the one recorded in june aha uh -huh. maybe this is the one yes so this is the first version i recorded before the second one that you were just listening to hold on okay and now this one Sorry. What am I doing? Okay. Here we are. What? So I'll be catching the comments every so often. What's going on? Why is it stopping? Okay, I think that my phone is reacting to something, uh, so it's just stopping whenever... Okay, let's try now. Yeah, you see this? It doesn't want to... <laughs> wow, what's going on with technology? So 
sometimes I affect the technology, you guys. And the phones just got all the computers don't react properly. <laughs> there is a phenomenon actually, this is registered. imprinting a lot of stuff, imprinting the energy. I'm composing a little bit, that's not really written. <laughs> Managed to read that. The painting just looks exotic, yes. Thank you. Well, it is a little bit, but I think it's more about the mission. Maybe the mission is a bit exotic when we are thinking about the, doing the things the right way. But sometimes the ideas become so foreign. When we are used to something in a particular way, the power of habit. And then the things become foreign that which they shouldn't. But I love this piece, the, the number 16 variation that you are listening now that I just recorded. Loud, making mistake in there. Did you hear that? And the next, the other version, I think I made also in a similar place. I think the next, the other version, the one that you were listening earlier is more fluid but um, doesn't have as much character but I haven't touched the piano this is without any practicing today so each one of the okay that one is done now. Let's actually try to listen to again the other version. <laughs> Today we are going to be listening to the two versions of the piece that I recorded, which is represented right now on a loop until the painting is finished. How crazy is that? Here it is. I've written down a fresh version. Let's see what 
Look at this green fawn. brush. Is done. The phone was completely weird today and it got the painting. It got to be, oh my god, this is drying very fast. So now I'll have a painted hand as long as it hasn't entered the inner quarters <laughs> of the phone. Oh my god, it may have. It may have entered because it just happened at this area. You know, the Marfilo. Okay. So, yeah, well, that variation is definitely better than the other one. Okay. I'll maybe deal with this later. Have remove the majority of it. So let's try this again. It 
It's very solemn. It's very Baroque-like, this piece. I mean, the musical piece, not so much the visual. <laughs> visual is just my vision of how it looks like when the meritocracy, because really it's in a way about the meritocratic a little bit about the hard work, the willingness to put in the effort, this extremely important aspect that everybody talks about, that everybody tries to avoid. I'll be catching up the comments in a moment, in a moment of silence when the piece finishes in the musical sense. Flowing very much in the center, which I'm really liking. Okay, let's go to the kind of interaction. the growing up, the childhood, and the Freud thought that every child is a teacher to a grown up. For some reason, this light blue color is associating me to that. As I'm listening, the kind of a recipe here, kind of like a, a lesson being held from the Baroque times. Let's see the comments now. I'm switching like a crazy person from one thing to another here on this phone. I hope I, I won't destroy it. Yeah, stop that. Now go back into HAPS mode. There is the HAPS, okay. Now let's join it in a moment because this is the only way really for me. Okay, let's sort them without the sound because that would freak me out. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Mark, welcome. Thanks for joining. The screen is so tiny. Ah, yes, because it's on Periscope, I'm still waiting for the verification. So, painting looks exotic. Ah, Wesley, hi. Merry late Christmas to you too. It's, okay, 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 okay. Wonderful to see everyone. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Um, so, yeah, so this piece is a little bit a reminiscence of the one actually in terms of the composition of color that I've done. I think it's a number four or five, which is in a quest for finding the delight. And I think that's one of the aspects that each of the humans has to go through in order to, in order to really enjoy this experience on this planet and uh, and this piece is more about the the pursuit of a higher learning of the knowledge and so i'm kind of um trying to join these two aspects the one which is about finding the most beautiful wonderful the things that we you know the delight within the self because i'm really convinced that um, a little bit like a a stoical way of perceiving the world around it. Really everything is in the mind and in the decision as to how we want the world around us to evolve. <laughs> and then, in fact, this morning I was reading about the monads and all of these um, ideas that there could be, I mean, the, even the ancient Greeks philosophers and of course they inherited this from the ancient Egyptians or the ancient the Persians and all of these other civilizations before, but sometimes it, it maybe um, it doesn't get fully credited before, because we have to start from something. And then because it was a cluster of knowledge during the ancient Greeks, we always attribute it to the Greeks. But anyway, uh, with all the, mon the monas, the, actually the Lebanese who um, 
for revived that, but it it was rooted in the from the ancient Greek schools, and uh, and then they were almost guessing that our brain is functioning a little bit like a simulator. Of course, at that time they didn't have the computers uh, to be able to um, to make a connection uh, or even have the idea of a simulator with the association that we have today because when we think about the simulator we already have all of the science fiction yeah. and even non science fiction technology that's leading us that way but they didn't and they still thought about it so i, th I think it's quite fascinating um so in a way i'm a little bit creating in here this kind of a simulator simulated reality the struggle and also the brightness within that struggle there's quite a lot of um, fluidity and fiery energy if uh, my work a lot of the you know when it comes to abstract it usually goes down to the um, to the essentials a little bit faster than with the uh, with the figurative art and uh, and in my case it's very much connected to fire my favorite philosophy for is also heraclitus who um regarded the world as something that's completely um actually managed and the the most essential element to it as the fire which i think is fascinating and fire and water the interaction between the two is also quite interesting when we think about the Eastern philosophies. So I'm here creating this corner, which is a little bit like um, forestry. I just had the deja vu, by the way, you guys. Uh, it's quite interesting. When I'm doing the pieces of artwork, I don't know whether this deja, the deja vu I sometimes experience is the result of the pattern that appeared in some of the previous pieces, because by now I've really created a, <laughs> a fair amount. The opus is being built or else it's truly a deja vu from some feeling from the dreams or maybe it's something who knows something third we still can't explain why the deja vus are cre even being created so now let's create these spines uh, interestingly also what i've been noticing by the way i'm also kind of uh, doing a commentary alongside the painting so that uh, I capture all of these thoughts that are coming through the mind, but I'm definitely seeing a lot of the spinal cords. Do you see the spines? I'm seeing more and more the pattern of the, I don't know whether it's a human or an animal spine, but I'm definitely seeing that. Um, and I'm enjoying in this form of the spine as well. And, uh, and I wonder why is it? And, uh, Maybe I'm fascinated by this point lately <laughs> because the painting will reveal what the fascination holds. And I especially feel good when I'm doing this kind of whiteness on top of the blackness when I shade some light. The color is the most deceptive of all because when we are creating the form, we are creating the illusion because it's in two dimension and we are doing the form um, which tends to be in more than two dimensions. But when we are doing the color, the color doesn't require the dimensions. It's just transformed. It solely depends on our eyes. So it's deceptive in its, uh, on the level of perception. And, um, and so lately, I think since this summer, I've been starting to think about the color and how can I define the form with the color so that has been a lot of part of my thinking um, so let me check briefly the comments and maybe interact a little bit with you guys while this is kind of being built I quite actually yeah actually now I understand why it's fine because um, as I started <laughs> talking about the music and also listening to my recording I realized that uh, the blackness scares you about teaching art uh, has geological theories uh, with the new year. Hold on a second. Ah, Tommy, thank you so much, everyone, for the super heart. 
um, for the new year. I still haven't thought about it. Maybe I might be painting, doing music, uh, or maybe just contemplating on top of the mountains. Actually, that would be my favorite thing, to go on top of the mountain. <laughs> painting, thank you. And even artist has uh, geological theories. A geological, I don't have geological yet. Have you th uh, teaching art? Um, in a way, I like the openness, the open sourcing, just sharing my process. As for the teaching in itself, um, I've never done teaching as a pianist. Um, actually, sorry, I'm lying. Once I've given a few lessons uh, last summer, I made an exception and this was a genius student, really somebody who will <laughs> be a great pianist. Um, so, but I don't think that they are, uh, that I'm that good when it comes to teaching pedagogy, which is um, interesting, uh, which is a little bit strange. I don't think that uh, my approach to other humans is as um, as much of um, as empathic as it should be. And also my approach to art in general is very unorthodox, like even in music, um, like my priorities are a little bit different than most teachers. And that's the whole different story. I think I'm more of a performer than a teacher in itself, but you never know. I think also I'm at this stage of a career where I really have to uh, um, uh, combat the world. <laughs> I really need to find my voice. I'm still um, classifying it. I'm still crystallizing it. So, and I don't think it's, um, for me, that it probably is going to be taking some time, some wisdom of the age before I really wish to teach. I think that at this stage, I wish to create. I'm full of the of the fighting against the dying of the light, let's put it that way. I think it's the Dylan's novel, is it? I actually quite like that one, not novel, the poetry, right? Blackness scares your eyes, yeah. There is a bit of a spinal in that. Okay, so now let's listen to one more time, I think, as I'm touching upon a little bit more on the concept. I actually quite like in terms of the um, disappearance of the spinal in this area. I actually don't know. Can you see the whole thing? Yeah, you can't actually see the whole thing. Let me try to adjust this a little bit more. Maybe you can hear, see a little bit more. And then let's hear, let's hear a little bit more now. Just want to share the uh, the music. Where is it now? Now my recording. Uh, fresh. I think the one that's even though I was standing to practice at that moment when I was making a mistake. Okay, here it is. Now start. Okay. It wouldn't start. What's going on with this? Wow. My phone is acting up. I wonder is it the painting that has. Oh, let's try the other one. It wouldn't have start. Okay, hold on a second. I'll just clear here and let's start now. Okay, starting. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay, that's from the beginning of the recording. Okay, now do this. Yes. Perfect. Now we are collaborating. So this sand, sand color, which I really like for this series.
This is really open sourcing because so many mistakes in that recording as well. It's just how life is. If I actually can't read the comments. I will just paint a little bit more and then I'll catch all the comments. And I think that will be for today because this place is starting to feel that there isn't many more fresh things to do. Because when it comes to painting also, the freshness is so important. Because for the formation of style and everything that is put into it, once you lose the freshness, that's it. It has to stop. intended to be that much but if it's a lesson that has to be said it's also the imprint of the Okay. 
that's it. Perfect. Okay. Next one. So. Can I see the comments? Volcano attacks the village, then flows and leads with water. Love this interpretation. Can't ignite the short water from a laptop. All right, yeah, good. Yes, that's a good explanation. Hi, hi, Mark, welcome. Okay, um, I can only sideways read the comments, so I'm waiting for the uh, for the variation to finish and then I'll log in to see maybe from the laptop sometimes I should also try to um, share this but it's so convenient you know I like to go live on the spur of the moment and then for the laptop to turn on and to get the to get it positioned properly and all of this kind of stuff you know this the convenience of the mobile convenience of the mobile so many times for me um, so I think this is what's being created and this is how it sounds like you're now listening to what we created together and I created this sound the music just before I started the stream and that's it and so now I'm going to check the comments Again, so this is just recorded on the phone, nothing fancy. Um, the most, yeah, let's now find the apps. Okay. I need another device actually for the future. I need to get my tablet going. Uh, where am I? Yes. Uh, okay. So let's catch all the comments. This from yeah, it's uh, from my mobile phone. Lee, hi. Uh, essential, um, not sure, larger, yeah. It's like Italian attacks a village, then flows means the water. Lovely, it's all these energies. Yes, definitely, it has this aspects of the fiery. And uh, hold on a second, oops, I can't. Okay, now leaving comments. Mark, thanks for joining. Okay, so I think this is it for now. Thanks everyone for joining supporting uh being with me in this process of creation there's a bit of delay i don't know it's still not showing what i'm showing in here interestingly yeah there is a, a lot of delay in here um so this is what have, we have been creating in the last i don't know how long i've been going on maybe um how long was i going on in here let's see uh, how many minutes uh how can i see this oh yeah yeah oh 49 minutes already wow the time flies when you're having fun so you can see actually um yeah the that part has a little bit more darkness compared to this one that's closer to me i don't know whether it's because i'm painting it um sideways but uh, since my time in china as i've kind of uh, got in my style a little bit more depth i've started to paint um only on the floor i feel like the floor is helping me into this internal mystery where i really want to have connection with the upper and the lower and it's always the juxtaposition of the two and it's my thinking of the two opposing elements that are creating this world certainly my world um so there is a lot of the appearances of this uh, spinal um structural the piece itself the global variation that you were listening is in my mind about the about the lesson that the hard work and the persistence and this kind of uh, strong will will yield the results is it justifies the results and maybe even makes um the destiny you know when they say the destiny favors the brave and I think there is a little bit of that message in this music, the piece that you were listening while my very much full of mistakes recording just before the starting of the live stream and also the painting. So thanks so much for watching everyone. Now I'm going to be stopping this. Um, it has been enjoyable. <laughs> thanks for the support. Thank you. Thank you, Tammy. 
and uh, so i'll see you next time everyone thanks so much for joining and now let's see how do i stop this okay here is the button hold on a second it's not responding okay excellent thanks okay maybe i'll put this in here so that 